Time friends, it's Cassie Zahersky, children's book author and illustrator, and today I'm going to be reading an adorable multicultural children's story called Brandon Makes Jiaozi. This story mixes American and Chinese cultures as well as languages. All right, shall we begin? Brandon Makes Jiaozi, written by Eugenia Chu, illustrated by Helenia Chu Ho. Meet Brandon. He is a smart but silly boy. Brandon loves jiaozi, which are Chinese dumplings. He loves to make them, and he really loves to eat them. One day after school, mommy had a surprise for Brandon. It was Popo and Gonggong, Brandon's grandma and grandpa, visiting from China. With a huge smile plastered on his face. Brandon laughed and talked all the way home. <laughs> Starving, Brandon slid to a stop in the kitchen. He saw flour and dough on a huge cutting board next to a big bowl on the table. Brandon jumped up and down and excitedly asked, "Papa, are we going to make jiaozi?" Papa responded, "Duela," which means "That's right" in Chinese. Brandon wriggled around and did his happy dance. Once done shaking his booty, Brandon skipped to the bathroom to wash his hands while Popo rolled up the dough to prepare the chop soda wraps. When Brandon's hands were nice and clean, he sat next to Popo, looked around, and decided, "We need more flour." Before Popo could stop him, Brandon grabbed the nearby bag of flour to sprinkle some on the table. But instead, a whole mountain exploded everywhere, including all over Brandon. Popo couldn't help but laugh. <laughs> Aiya, ni hao xin shang wei. You look like a little ghost. Brandon grinned, and suddenly, boom! Once Brandon and Pop Paul cleaned up the flour mess, they got to work. Brandon spooned the meat mixture from the big bowl into the wraps. He pinched the edges together to keep all the delicious filling inside. He loved making jiaozi and was getting really good at it. Pop Paul looked over and clapped. Wow, Brandon, you tell the jiaozi, Zen Piao Yong, saying Brandon is making beautiful dumplings. Brandon was very proud. Once they had a tray full of jiaozi prepared, Popo cooked them while Brandon continued making more jiaozi. Soon, all the dough and meat were used up, and the first batch was done. Brandon could not wait to eat them, and his mouth watered. Popo asked Brandon, "Niao chi chi de chi jiaozi." How many dumplings do you want to eat? Brandon raised both hands up, flexing all his fingers. Shagu, ten. Wow! Popo cried. Shagu, the cover can eat shagu, Madua. Can you eat that many? Brandon laughed. <laughs> yes, yes, I can. Popo gave Brandon ten jiaozi. And he counted them out one by one in Chinese. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. They're all here. Brandon ate and ate and ate. Soon, all ten jiaozi were in Brandon's tummy. And his tummy was very big indeed. Papa couldn't believe Brandon ate so many jiaozi so quickly. Wa, ni tai bao la. You must be too full. Brandon giggled. <laughs> They were so good. I couldn't stop eating. I would like one more, please. Papa's jaw dropped. Ni hao yo yi ge jiaozi. You want one more dumpling? Brandon laughed and nodded. <laughs> yes, please. 
Popo gave Brandon one more jiaozi and watched, expecting him to eat it. But instead of eating it, Brandon put the jiaozi in a little box and said, Shei Shei, thank you. Popo chuckled. What are you going to do with that jiaozi? I thought you were going to eat it. Brandon smiled. I want to save it because it's so beautiful. Later, Brandon secretly took his jiaozi out of the box and decorated it. He used oyster sauce as glue to add lettuce for hair, sliced olives for eyes, a piece of grape for the nose, and a little slice of red pepper for the mouth. He exclaimed, Come see my masterpiece! Mommy, Daddy, Popo, and Gung Gung were so surprised and delighted by Brandon's Ooh. creation. Brandon took a picture of his little Jiaozi guy and ate it all up in two bites. <coughs> Yummy, Hauzi! Popo smiled. Gung Gung chuckled. <laughs> Mommy giggled. <laughs> Daddy roared, but Brandon laughed the loudest. What a smart but silly boy. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed Brandon Makes Jiaozi as well as learning some Chinese along with me. And I will see you next time. Bye, Circle Time friends. <laughs>